Make it look, make it look, make it look easy. Hey, stand up guy, boy, I'm ten toes. Big body pull up in a Range Rover. I can change the whole game when I say so. I pull up, shut it down, yeah, they know. <laughs> Running this game ain't a thing for me. I never switched to What's no going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Street Review. It's your boy, Cam. Boy, Federico, fam. And y'all already know what's going on, man. So today we taking a look at, you know, we gonna say a little group that we ain't seen in a little minute. We yeah, I don't think we ever seen y'all been getting on our ass about. It. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. There's been conversations I feel like that was brought up. They've been brought up before, but not actually like assessed. Yeah, by Mob Deep. So we yeah, man. Some mob man. I heard y'all been heard y'all been begging for this junk, man. So look, we gotta get y'all to calm down. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all want some more, just request it. We'll let y'all know how that junk go, man. Mm-hmm. Um, today's song is called "Survival of the Fittest." Um, is this like one of their biggest songs? Yeah, it is. It is. It was because it's off their first album. Okay, okay, okay. And Mob Deep, they didn't have too many commercial, um, like radio play songs. They didn't have that many of that. Not until they got with Fifty Cent. So they was like underground type shit. Yeah, they was too street for radio. So were they were they selling tapes and stuff like that? Like, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna. I don't really know their the real background like that. How they came up? Yeah, type because shit. I know they had like a um an album before um Infamy mm-hmm. or Infamous, whatever the the album is, the their, their um sophomore album. But they had a, a freshman album that I never heard of. Mm, they okay, look okay, real okay. young and that. I was like, man, these guys are like little kids, man. Dead ass. Yeah, and I never heard that album. I never that's heard crazy. it. But nah, there's some real man. short guys, man. They're real man, short. Man, I can't imagine listening to no goddamn, like, 13-year-old nigga rapper. Yeah. Like, when Lil Wayne was 13 rapping, and I don't know if he was, like, popping like that at the time, because I know he was really around 14. But even then, I I just wouldn't be able to listen to no 13 <laughs> Right, what bro. can you tell me? Yeah, oh, God. Like, you can't tell me how to get no money, little bro. Like, come on, dude. You know, you know what I'm saying? about your girlfriend in school. That yeah, you got like, that? come on, bro. Yeah. I don't want to hear about that, man. But you got some motherfuckers. You got some grown at thirteen kids. Thirteen. Yeah, that's. Right. <laughs> yeah, now you do. You got them yeah. young niggas. Now y'all don't want to mess with them young niggas. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Yeah, them ain't nothing to play with. Yeah, but Mob Deep, man, they some real street guys, man. They didn't play around. That's what I heard. Yeah, Mob Deep. Uh, whoever they beef with, I heard they were beefing with somebody, man. Mm-hmm. In New York, and they just had them, they had them catch. I watched a documentary um, about uh, someone dissing or beefing Mob Deep, and mm-hmm. they had Mob Deep had them guys shook, man. Damn, and you gonna see why in this video? Oh, all right, for sure that then. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen this in a while, but, but yeah, this is one of their biggest hits. Okay, for sure that, for sure. All right, well, before we get into this video, y'all, can y'all please like, comment, subscribe, share, and turn on your post notifications. And make sure y'all get us to 10,000 subscribers. And we all good to go, man. Let's do this thing. Mob deep, dude. Finally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sending this one out to my man Killer B. No doubt, indeed. Without we, you know what I'm saying? That old real shit. No man is safe from You could run but you can't hide forever From these streets that we done took You walk in high forever From these streets that There's a war going on out Man that's a lot of niggas dog It is no cap it really is Like god damn they like fucking 15 deep Like what the hell going on That's a lot of niggas man that, Bro they really just chilling that deep every bro, day I'm telling Bro I'm hey, yeah I got a question I really got a question you know what I'm saying? Because I, I didn't see people chill like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 10 deep. You know what I'm saying? All these outside, niggas moving. Just playing, yeah. Like, they're like, they're ready for like, war. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's like on like, all right, what's up? You nah, know what I'm saying? these niggas hype, dog. But I ain't me personally, though, I ain't never seen like this many niggas like gathered up. In, in one shot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? How you, I ain't ain't get all these niggas in one like, shot? Like, bro, <laughs> what type of goddamn lens do you have to make them all fit on that? <laughs> That's the thing, like, God Plus, damn. a lot of niggas in one shot, dog. Yeah, yeah one, two, three. For real, look, they all over there in the back. Yeah, it's a close up. niggas back. There's a nigga right there that you it, can't it, see. It's a, it ain't no wide angle shot. It's a close up. Like, bro, this shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, this boy. They mob crazy. deep, dog. Outside, no man is safe from. You could run, but you can't hide forever from these streets that we done took. You walking with your head down, scared to look. You shook, cause ain't no such things as halfway crooks. They never around when the beef cooks in my part of town. It's similar to Vietnam. Now we all grown up and old and be on the cops control. They better had a riot gear ready. Trying to back me and get rock steady. By the Mac one double, I touch you and leave you with not much to go home with. My skin is thick, cause I'll be up in the mix of action. If I'm not at home, my 
when the dough get low, the juice go. But never that. As long as things smoke crack, I'll be on the block hustling, count my stacks. No doubt, watching my back and proceed with caution. Five vote working, no time to get lost in. The system niggas use a fake names to get out quick. My brother did it and got back with two ounces. I live with one with squads, hit the block hall. That's my man twin when he got back. The fuck me up, God. But shit happens for a reason. You find out who's the true keepers when you're upstate bleeding. You can't find a shorty the truth to be with you. Hit with the two, the four is difficult. While on the streets, I try to maintain. Tight with my Lucas hoes like to run game. Some niggas like to trick, but I ain't with that trick and shit. I'm like a juice, saving those who I can be with. Pushing a Lex, now I'm set, ready to check. No matter how much loot I get, I'm staying in the projects forever. Jake's on the blocks, we out clever. If beef, we never separate, go together. When worse come to worse, so my peoples come first. Try to react and get the motherfucker feeling served. My crew's all about blue. Fuck looking cute, I'm strictly tip boots. An army certified suits, puff the nails, lay back, enjoy the smell. In the bridge, getting down, it ain't hard to tell. You better realize we live this through the day that we die. Survival of the fit, only the strong survive. He said he don't care how much money he get, he's staying in the projects forever. I want to be made that metaphorically. He had to. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. He most definitely did. If he <laughs> did, my it, heart's though, gonna stay though. Yeah, no. Nah, if he did it or not, that nigga's tripping. tripping. You know what I'm saying? He's now, one rapper did that was uh, C. Murder. He's dead, ain't he? No, nah, he's in prison. He's in prison. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what are the, what are the two? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Maybe that's not funny. You know? <laughs> maybe that's he not, did. <laughs> maybe that's not funny. You know hey. what I'm saying? <laughs> but I knew something was up. You know what I'm saying? You just don't do that. You know what I'm saying? You do not do that, okay? You do not stay where you've made enemies all your life. That's just crazy work. Especially when you done made it big. Especially when you done made it Unless big. Unless you feeding everybody. Yeah, you feel me? Unless you got the neighborhood on your back. You know what I'm saying? You the real deal neighborhood. Unless you got the feet. If everybody got K where everybody got mad, shit, they going to protect you. You're right, yeah, because you the guru. Yeah. You know what I'm you saying? the mayor. Yeah, but, but nah, you can't be out there. Can't be out there, right? King Bond and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro, nah, nah bro. Yeah, pick, nah, but you see, Mur was a millionaire. Had an actual. He, they did a video. Um, I think it was called. It was a documentary. Uh, Ice T called. It was called "Rappers Who Live Their Lyrics." That was mm -hmm. the name of it. Yeah, this motherfucker had a, a suite in the projects, dog. And so this is my thing. This man had a suite in the projects. Yeah. All right. So why have a suite in the projects when this nigga could have a suite in the suburbs? I mean, I understand it could be cheaper. Some nigga you know what I'm kid, saying? Could be. Block, man. Nigga probably could get it off like on some Section Eight type shit. Niggas don't you know want to be I'm around saying? that shit, man. They want, bro. Some nigga just love the block, dog. And then just, bro. But that's just crazy. Wow. <laughs> Oh nah. Yo, that's crazy. So how you know them? Yeah, that's Nas. They grew up in the same projects. Mm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, the first guy, the second guy who rapped, you know, he, he's not really an MC like that. He's the one who produces their, their music. Ah, okay, okay, That's okay. why he's not, he's not as fire as the first guy. The first mm -hmm. guy was spitting. Mm -hmm. Now, if I, to me, if you look up rapper in the dictionary, man, I would, I would put P right there, man. Cause he, he's like, if you looked up, if you wanted a definition of a true MC, mm -hmm. a true rapper, probably you do. Okay. He talked so much shit, man, and, and then his lyrics, dude, it just, like, wow, where that come from? Yeah. I see that. I ain't going to lie. Um, to me, he he raps like he has a lot to say. A lot to say, dude. You get what I'm saying? He raps like he has a lot to say. And it's almost like, nah, bro, I ain't even done yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I ain't even done yet. he knew he was yet. on the time because you know he had sickle cell. Oh, he, wow. He recently passed about, I want to say about five years ago he passed away. Dang, really? Yeah. Damn, how old was he? Probably like 40 something. Damn. 44, 45, or something. Sickle like cell really do that to motherfuckers out here, bro? 
Yeah, he died from that shit. I had knew a guy in Miami. He had sick. He was cool. Tay, real cool guy. But he knew he was on the time clock. Mm-hmm. But he always had those little patches on his back. He's always had pain and shit and mm-hmm. shoulders in his back. But yeah, Project Man, he was one of the purest rappers, man, to ever touch the mic. Damn, man. Yeah, nah, bro. Yeah. I want to listen to him more now. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want to listen to him more now. Yeah. I, mean, I like the way, um, like, I'm not going to lie, bro. They beats, dude. Yeah. Oh, man. You... I was just going to say, like, them two um, on the same song is kind of crazy. Right. Like, I, I want to say the thing. I will give, um, what's it? Habit. Havoc is the other guy's name. I will give Havoc his credit. Mm-hmm. He has produced some songs out there that you won't hear nowhere else. That okay, if he when as soon as the beat drop, you go, oh, that's Havoc. Yeah, that's Havoc. He's beat so be so heavy, dude. Yeah, let's hold on, let's. They be so heavy, man. Mm. Back to fuck me up, God, okay, but shit it. happens for a reason. You find out who's the true keepers when you're upstate bleeding. You can't find a shorty the truth to be with you. Hit with the two, the four is difficult. Like Chris, While on the streets, I try to maintain. Tight with my little guys, like the point of pain. Some niggas like to right. but I ain't with that trick and shit. I'm like the two saving those yeah. who I can pick with. I ain't gonna lie. That beat. Catchy shit. That like, beat is catchy I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I feel like I heard I would put that, that beat up somewhere. against any Rizzo beat. Whoa, whoa. Any one of whoa, them, dude. Whoa, whoa, really? Man, that beat, dude. I don't know why he got that sample. It is, it is sick, though. I ain't gonna lie. That shit is sick. Like, yeah. You hit the highs going in the beat. You didn't hear that much from New York because when my friend, I used to bump Wu-Tang a lot. He was like, man, I want to hear that stuff. I was like, why not? He was like, man, ain't nothing but trouble music. Mm-hmm. Ain't no bass in it. I was like, dude, got some bass in some of these songs. Mm-hmm. But when you start hearing Mob, you know that 808 is coming. Dude. Yeah. You know it's coming. That 808 is coming. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Heavy going to bring that 808. It's going to bring some bass. Damn, you see? And I ain't going to lie. Mike, it's most definitely there in that song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's most definitely <clears throat> here in this song. I mean, damn, to be honest, bro. That beat, like like I said, it, it's familiar to my ears. I don't know mm-hmm. what it is. Chat, y'all probably know what it is. Like y'all can let me know. Like if I've heard this beat somewhere, if it's been underlined in some type of movie, or if dude, it's been... that's it. Bro, it could be in a movie. It could be. So all right, so I'm not tripping. No, I'm not saying that. It oh, it I'm could. Someone could put. Yeah, this shit. just the just the just the instrumental. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They give, bro, they, bro. That shit in itself already sets the vibe for what they was talking yeah. about. Right. You get what I'm saying? It already says the vibe of what they was talking about, bro. Literally, Survival of the Fittest, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I could picture this beat being over a fucking movie called Survival of the Fittest yeah. in the fucking trailer. Like, I could see. Or this being an intro fucking song. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I could see it. It makes sense. Man, I'm finna rate this song, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm gonna get a song. I'm gonna get a song at eight. I'm gonna get a song at eight. Mm-hmm. And the reason why. Cause they both they both spit. You get what I'm saying? They both was spitting. It was a good song. The good song is well, with it being a good song and the fact that they were spitting and the beat was good is why I give it an eight. But the reason why it doesn't get a ten is because I have heard better verses. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I have heard better verses from better rappers. Yeah. Now, this is my first time hearing them. So I would need to hear more of them. You get what I'm saying? But I do feel like for this time and right now, they most definitely pass the test of being right. five. I want to say he gonna rap. He gonna, yeah, you he, get he what I'm saying? He gonna rap. He yeah, gonna talk for a lot sure of, on that one. He gonna rap. He gonna talk a lot of shit. Maybe, maybe if it was just him the whole song. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, maybe if it was just him the whole song. Yeah, I like that one verse. And maybe have like nerfed him. It's like mixing vodka and milk. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's nasty. I can taste that shit like, right now. That's bro, nasty. that's Ugh. crazy. Like, what? He said, this go get disgusted in this bitch, bro. Like, like it's really going to get grimy, bro. Like, mix some vodka and milk. Right, Damn. nigga. Dang, you ain't going to lie, bro. Visual, the visual, listen to the lyrics, man. You can visualize. Yeah, ain't going to lie, bro. And that's why I'm saying, like, he he's a good rapper, for sure. Because mm-hmm. he gets detailed. You get what I'm saying? And I like people who gets detailed. People who give detail in their songs, bro, yeah. they're put in a different um, category of other rappers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you want to know somebody who was very fucking descriptive? He'd get so fucking descriptive to the point where it might bother you. Who was that? Big L. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Big L, yeah. yeah. Big L, he'll get so, dis- yeah. like, bro, it's disturbing. Yeah. 
how descriptive his ass can right. get. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it can dark. go too far. You get dark. <laughs> yeah, it can go too far, but I feel like this was in the lane of just right. Yeah, and this I, is dark too. This is hell. Yeah, oh, for sure. For sure on that one. This Survival is why I like it so much, it's just always I'm going to be it a dark. TM, dude. I like shit like this. Okay, okay, okay. For sure on that one. I like shit like this. But that's all we got for today, man. Any more mob songs out there? Drop them in the comments below, man. Y'all know that we right there, man. <laughs> I want man. to listen to Prodigy first, but I was like, we can't listen to Prodigy without listening to Mob. Okay. You know, his first solo album was, uh, I think it was a classic. Really? Yeah, HNIC. So he was really like that then? Yeah, he could rap, dude. <laughs> okay. He could rap. Okay, okay. All right. Well, that's all we got, that, man. man. Got anything else for the fact? For the folks? I do, actually. What's that? Like, comment, subscribe, share, and turn on your post notifications. Get us to 10,000 subscribers so we can hit y'all with that giveaway, man. With that being said, we out. Yeah. <laughs>